Hi everyone, today I'm checking into the Tradewinds Lodge in Diani and one of the main attractions here, especially for me, are these amazing, beautiful colobus monkeys that can be often seen in the gardens and the trees around the lodge. So to get to Trade Winds, you literally come off the main Diani Road where you see the Trade Winds sign. Double. Trade Winds, got our wayside beach apartments. And you literally head down the road and then you go past Diani campsite cottages on your right hand side they've also got a restaurant here carry straight on and you'll end up on the beach but you take a right down this road it says beach apartments the island band the cottages and literally walk about three minutes down this road hello And so, as you come to the end of this little road, on the right hand side, you have the Trade Winds Lodge. And so I arrive at my next destination, Trade Winds Lodge, here in Diani. Fantastic baobab tree. It's car parking. Now this is one of the earliest hotels. This is one of the old, earlier lodges in the Arni. Um, going back, I can remember, 40 years I stayed here. A little area for sitting and lounging. And of course, a fantastic little swimming pool. Apparently you can use a swimming pool all day and all night if you want, no problem at all. And of course the lodge itself, absolutely amazing, beautiful little spot, just chill out here, some beds, swimming pool you can use any time, day or night, fantastic little garden and also the chances of seeing some colourless monkeys. Now, this is one of the low-end budget places you'll find in Diani. But if you're on a low budget and, uh, you know, you're watching your pennies, then this is pretty much the ideal place for you. It's very basic. You know, you've got shared amenities. They have got a couple of nice rooms. They've got a fantastic swimming pool. Uh, but yeah, it is, you know, 14 pound a night. You can't really complain at that. So yeah, today, checking out the Trade Winds Lodge. Entering the accommodation for Trade Winds. Um, again, you know, this is the lower end of the price range of hotels you can stay at. We've got cooking facilities here. So you want to cook something, got a fridge. And the rooms, again, you know, very basic. Have a fan. bed, some wardrobes and a place to hang your coats. Now uh, you haven't got ensuite bathroom or toilet to get to them. It should come out of the room and they are here on the right hand side. You've got a sink if you want to wash your face and have a shave in the morning. And you've got a toilet. and a bathroom. So it's shared amenities 
But um, yeah, you know, as I say, this is the lower end um, of the budget when it comes to hotels. And you, know, you can't really expect too much for that price. Outside the rooms, you've got a little communal area and a little garden, lovely little garden. So coming out of the Trade Winds Hotel, um, what a fantastic little view. Look at this little old typical Mombasa road. Monkeys everywhere as usual. A couple there grooming. They say monkeys are the best things for uh, grooming your hair. If you've got uh, nits or anything like that, then they're the best for taking them out. So beautiful. This is what you see walking around. To get to the beach from Trade Winds Hotel, uh, it's literally about a five minute walk. And what a beautiful walk it is as well. I mean, look at this. Just surrounded by beautiful trees, flowers and greenery. Absolutely amazing. And as you come to the main road heading out of Trade Winds Hotel, we head towards the beach. As I say, it's about a five minute walk. And you've got lots of little restaurants down here. And then you have the fantastic Diani Beach. So here I am at Trade Winds Lodge and uh, I've got two colobus monkeys here, absolutely beautiful little creatures. I don't know if they're an endangered species but I do know they are very well protected for obvious reasons. Their fur, they are so beautiful. Back in the day their fur was used uh, to make robes for the tribal chiefs and only the highest of the highest were entitled to wear these robes made of colobus monkey skin um, but yeah as I say they are highly protected and today I'm really lucky because they are also very very shy so being able to get this close and actually film them is an absolute privilege Amazing creatures, absolutely amazing, so beautiful. And the fact they let me get them, get this close to them is quite a miracle because they're normally rather shy. And uh, tend to keep their distance. But for some reason today, they're quite happy to let me film them. So beautiful. Absolutely amazing. I feel very privileged today. Colobus monkeys at Tradewinds Lodge. How beautiful is that?
I don't know if they're endangered species, but I do know they are protected. And as you can see why, for their coats. Because they've got beautiful coats, beautiful furs. And uh, yeah. Amazing creatures, absolutely amazing. I'm really fortunate to be able to really fortunate to be able to film so close to them today. Yeah, back in the day, their coats were used to make the garments for tribal chiefs. Um, today, again, they are well protected because of their fur as you can see why because they are absolutely gorgeous beautiful but they are hunted for their fur unfortunately and that makes them a protected species our foundation is made up just especially for them look at that they're normally very very shy and getting close to them isn't easy but today for some reason or other they seem to be in a happy mood and don't mind being photographed which is rather unusual but yeah colobus monkeys from the trade winds lodge beautiful So, if you're looking for a five-star hotel, honeymoon suite, this is probably not the place for you. Could be, I don't know, it depends how high, how high end you want your marriage to be. But as far as a budget lodge goes, uh, price-wise, I mean, 14 pound a night, you can't really complain at that. You know, basic amenities, uh, shared bathroom, shared toilet, all that kind of stuff. But you are literally, five minutes walk away from an absolute paradise beach uh, here in Diani, in Diani. So yeah, I mean, this is a lovely place. It's chilled out um, off the beaten track. And again, you know, it's at the lower end of the hotel budgets. And uh, 14 pound a night, as I say, you can't really complain. And you've got also the chance of seeing some fantastic polybus monkeys here in the garden. So yeah, Trade Winds Hotel. This is Chef Travels, I'm Kevin Harrington. Thanks very much for watching. Hopefully, see you on the next one. Cheers.